Hi everyone, it's Brother Paul here. It is Friday, June 29th. Um, I want to say I've missed you guys. I've been a little occupied with a bunch of things in life. You know, it steps and takes over. And I got backlogged on a bunch of dreams. So God, lay, God gave me a beautiful rest and I feel much better. Thank you everyone who gave me prayers and messages. I appreciated every one of them. And now let's get down to one message that was very serious and I held off on this one because it's so serious. So This one is called Mark of the Beast and I'll tell you why. So I had two dreams and both of them were unusual and I actually didn't think they were tied together till I did the interpretation. So first of all this is how the dream started. I was uh, a participant in this dream. I actually don't know if it was me, but I, I was a participant in this dream. And I was headed to work. Not my job that I do now, but in my job, in my dream, I was uh, going to some factory. And I was walking to work, and I was trying to get through this path, this route, this road that normally would take me to work. But it was really heavily fenced, and... Um, I couldn't get to it because there was fences and barbed wire and all sorts of things in the way and they had turned this two-way road into a one-way road so a friend of mine picked me up and we had to do a detour to get to work so when we got there we were informed that we had to get new uniforms and that our job where we were currently working at that factory was being moved to a new place where we were required to take a chip and I was very upset by that and that dream ended right there so the second dream started and I was going to a friend's house and this was strange because he it was a really rundown house like it was looked like a crack house and uh, my friend was very very happy that he had bought it and I'm like why would you want to live here and he told me well I got this house off a guy that we work with who commits suicide and I was shocked when he said that, but he was happy that he got a deal. And I'm like, what do you mean he commits suicide? And he informed me that he refused to take this chip. And this is what he ended up doing. So the dream ended there. And these are the words I wrote down. So I wrote factory, new uniforms, new factory. Oh, I forgot to mention there were security guards at the old factory. They were handing out our checks. So. I don't know why security had to be there, but they were documenting stuff. So then I wrote chip, death, by suicide, run down house, fences, no entrance, only one way, bridge. Forgot to mention there was a bridge. And the word mark of the beast was the last thing that I heard in my spirit before I woke up. So I'll go through these with the scriptures of what I came across. So I found work in factory whatever you do in the word or deed <clears throat> do all in the name of the lord jesus giving thanks to god and the father by him this was a colossians uh, 3 17. i found uniform was just a definition a uh, symbolism of belonging to a certain group i found security guard which was tied to 1 chronicles 9 to 7. it's a symbolism of authority and they lodged round about the house of god because the change was upon them and the opening there of every morning pertained to them and then i found chip and microchip which was tied to revelations 13 16 to 18. also it caused all both small and great both rich and poor both free and slave to be marked on the right hand or in the forehead so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark of that is the name of the beast or the number of it of its name this calls for wisdom let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 666 and then i looked up suicide and to dream of suicide killing yourself is symbolism of self-destructive behavior and i thought of examples like drinking drugs and promiscuity can all lead to a death and i came to ecclesiastics 717 be not overly wicked, neither be a fool. Why should you die before your time? 
and it also had a 1 Corinthians 3.17, If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple are you? And then I found a house, a run-down house is what I wrote, a ruined house. So a person tearing down their own house is symbolic of a fool. And it was a Proverbs 14.1. Every, every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. I found bridge, which was John 14.6. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I found One Way Road, which are Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord, be with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. All of your own ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. And again, there was another revelation, uh, 13, 17, and no man might buy or sell. This was when I heard the mark of the beast. So this was tied to Revelation 13, 17, that I just went over that. You know, you have to take this mark so you can't buy or sell anything. And in the case of the dream, that's why the guy took his life, because he didn't want to take it or didn't want to accept it. So I guess he lost hope. And then the last one was fences. Our barbed wire fence can symbolize a dangerous obstacle in life, which was a Psalms 62.3. How long will you imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a blowing wall shall be and as a tottering fence. I had to look up what tottering was. I didn't know what that word meant. So it means feeble and unsteady, in case you're curious. And I've been sitting on this for close to two weeks. I didn't know how to, to do this one. I prayed a lot about it and um, kind of led, the, this dream led to some dark spiritual attacks last week that made me just step away. I, I needed to like go back to the word and and God uh, put some words of encouragement on my spirit, which was incredible. So I, I ask anybody after watching this, please go watch and read Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd prayer. Please read this right after this. Make an understanding and have a discernment that this is my opinion. I, I try not to say them, but the church, we're not going to be here for this. So don't let this get you down. This is why I want to end this, this dream and this message after is lift your spirit up do not be afraid of this if we're close to god we will not be here for this we're here to give warnings to others so god you know the holy spirit put this ephesians 2 8 to 10 in my heart to share with you guys so after the doom and gloom of that dream i want you to remember this ephesians 2 8 to 10 for it is grace you have been saved through faith and this not for yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by your works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmanship, created in Jesus Christ to do works which God prepared in advance for us to do. And I blew my mind, and it was right beside of Philippines 4.3. I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. So one of the things for me, this is my opinion, Last week I was feeling really discouraged and I didn't understand why I was doing all this. And <laughs> I admit I'm a bit stubborn. So when I finally had the revelation and all the confirmations I needed to go ahead with this, this was the one, Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, that God wants me to do this. He chose me to do this. So I feel much better now. I'm more encouraged. I hope that for anyone and everyone in the church that whatever your gift is or whatever your way of touching people is embrace it this is what god chose us to do we are the light of the world i love you guys if you're uh, from canada happy canada day weekend for the rest of the world i love you guys continue to share the word and the uh, gospel with anybody you can come in contact with you might be the only one that's going to do it bye guys love you take care